My favourite piece from the Corpus exhibit is this letter from Isaac Newton to the then Astronomer Royal, John Flamsteed, about the great comet of 1680. Now, what's incredible about this comet is that it passed Earth's orbit on the 30th of November, sped in towards the Sun and came back out again and by mid December 1680 was passing out past Earth's orbit at that time. And Flamsteed had, uh, had written earlier to Newton and said, you know, I think this must be, because they'd observed the comet twice, when it was going in and when it was coming out. And Flamsteed said, I think this comet must be the same comet, going in, coming back out again. And he drew a picture uh, in his letter to Newton. And what we're looking at here is the reply from Newton. And he's saying, I don't think you can be right about that. The picture you drew doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and I don't think there's even time for the comet to go in and come back out again in that time. Now what's sort of, from the history of science point of view, remarkable at this time is that Newton hadn't yet published his theory of gravitation. He hadn't yet published his theory which explains the orbits of comets and planets around the Sun. And he's working it out. He probably knows a lot more than he actually is revealing at this point. But in this letter, he's doing little calculations and trying to figure out what that comet was actually doing in that time. Was it obeying Kepler's law, which says it's an elliptical motion? Or was it doing something else completely different? Um, in this letter, he claims that he can't believe that it's actually the same comet. About three letters later, he comes back to Flamsteed and says, you know what, I've done the calculation. It is the same comet. It's going in, it's coming back out again. And that great long tail behind the comet, because it was the longest tail ever seen on a comet, um, is the evaporation due to the um, immense amount of energy absorbed from the sun. Um, this is science in action. It's still six more years before Newton publishes his magnum opus, the uh, Principia Mathematica, and this is the evidence on which it's built. And so, you know, this is not just an old letter. This is actually the evidence on which one of the greatest theories of physics was ever constructed.